Amen. Get me jacked up here, Al, on this bright microphone because I got a pick the dobro on this song. <laughs> Well, there's a bright and shining city where the roses are in blood. There's a mansion being built for me. And when I close my early story and they lay me in that tomb, I'll become a millionaire, oh, don't you see? Have you talked with my Redeemer? Is your robe as white as snow? is going to work with uh, Sister Mary Carter on the piano now. And, uh, this time she's going to beat the tambourine, so you better let me beat the guitar. Okay? And I got to tell you, he, he thinks he taught me the tambourine. <laughs> I'm hearing, but it was his mom that taught me to play the tambourine. And uh, she taught me a few things on it too. Thank you. 
recorded 20 albums in our day in our ministry we got most of them here tonight they're on CD and some of them are actually double albums so there's 24 songs on one album which is a pretty good deal for 10 bucks would you say Amen. Mm -hmm. and I think this is one that's uh, I know it's on there somewhere learned an awful lot about playing the bass fiddle. 
If there's one thing she hadn't caught on to yet, I bet you can't guess what it is. And that's what they call tuning. I think we're ready. It's called working on the building. Did you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, and you're not your own, but your body for Christ? If any man defile the temple, him shall God destroy. So make sure you take care of yourself. You are the temple of God. Amen. Amen. Now we've got a few verses of this, and those folks that has to. Uh, take a recess for a minute. You're not going to miss any because I'll still be at it by the time you get back. <laughs> Yourself. This takes a lot of energy to sing this song. to work. 
working on a building to work on a work on the building. Thanks out of you. Amen. You want to hear a couple more? Yeah. Go back. You didn't hear the response, did you? Amen. I think they've had it. I think so too. You've had it too. <laughs> well, I got a couple more here, so get ready. Let's see what we got here. Uh, all right. Here's one. If I was a railroad, I'd tell you what I'd do. I'd find me a brand new railroad, work on the building to This is actually on the on the record, okay? If I was a deacon, I'll tell you what I do. I would keep on deacon and keep on working on the building to work it on the
Well, I know you're pretty quiet after taking such a reproof as that. But you keep working on your building. And uh, Mama's going to come up here and she's going to exhort testify tonight. And she will pull you up back up by your bootstraps where old Brother Frank knocked you down. Okay. You know, working on a building, Haggai, I was studying about Haggai today. I want to tell you, it's like when I was reading that today, I could just kind of visualize God speaking to Haggai. He said, Haggai, wake up. Wake up, Haggai. It's time to wake up, folks. We're in the last of the last of the days. And he said, Haggai, hey, I want to tell you what the people are saying. He said, the people are saying it's not time to build the house of God. That's what he said. He said, the people are saying it's not time. And he said, well, Lord, what do I say to them? The Lord said to Haggai, hey, you go tell the people it's time. All you want to do is sit in your sealed houses. You want to sit in your sealed houses when the house of God is laying waste. That's kind of the hour we're sitting in, folks. The house of God is laying waste and people want to go home and just sit in their sealed houses. I want you to know, he said, that's why there's no rain over your head. He said, that's why when you have... Uh, you're, you work all week and you come home and there's holes in your money bag. Tell you, folks, it's time for God's people, for the alarm to go off. My sister had a vision recently and she heard an alarm and it woke her up and the Lord said, it's time, my alarm is going off. In the book of Joel it said, sound the alarm in my holy mountain. Hallelujah. Let the people weep between the porch and the altar. I believe it's time to build the house of God again. I believe it's time to have some good old-fashioned prayer meetings again. I believe it's time for God's people to wake up. Hallelujah. They've been asleep in this hour and the devil likes it. He doesn't want you going to the house of God. He doesn't want you building the house of God. But God says, I don't like you sitting in your sealed house. You can read it in the book of Haggai. It's time to wake up tonight, folks. Hallelujah. He said, this latter house, he said, I'm going to shake everything. He began to prophesy, I'm going to shake the heavens. I'm going to shake the earth. I'm going to shake everything in the earth, under the earth. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. But I want to tell you tonight, it's time for God's people to wake up. It's time to you get serious about the things of God. Hallelujah. Talking about working on a building. Second Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then you're going to hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. It's time for God's people to cry out. Joel, the book of Joel says, Who knows? Who knows if God will leave a drink offering and a meat offering? Who knows? Because God loves people to seek Him. Amen. When you seek Him with all your heart, you're going to find the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Lift your hand tonight and let God, let God arise like He said to the, the King Asa. Asa said, you know, we're going to make a contract. We're going to have a, we're entering into this great contract with the Lord that we're going to seek Him. And God says, when you seek me, you're going to find me. Hallelujah. He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. Hallelujah. And then the last part of Haggai was so beautiful. He said, the latter house shall be greater than the former house. When God gets through with all this shaking, that's why things are getting so uh, money's getting scarce. Things are getting bad. You know why? Because the house of God is laying waste. God even said it. You go home and read that book of Haggai. You're going to be amazed at the things that are going on right now. That's happening right now. We have got to seek the Lord. We've got to build God's house. We've got to get in prayer and supplication. Put your shoulder to the wheel and cry out. Amen. For the house of God. Be there. Be there. 
must have been something like what's happening here back in that time where everybody just wanted to go home and build their own sealed house. But God says, my house is laying waste. And he said, my heart's broken. Wake up, Haggai. How about you and I? It's time to wake up. we between the porch and the altar. It's time to seek the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and tell the Lord tonight, I'm going to seek you. I'm going to seek your face. I'm going to seek you with all my heart. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Preach on Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know tonight, the Bible says in 2 Timothy 1, 7, God had not given us, say, the spirit of fear. Fear is a spirit from hell. It paralyzes you. It holds you down. It holds you back. But it said, I've given you three weapons in that verse to overcome the spirit of fear. First of all, I've given you power. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Hallelujah. When you get the Holy Ghost and the rivers begin to flow out of your belly, I want to tell you something tonight. the 
receive the promise of the Father. Amen. 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 